All right, so we're gonna talk about how to get a pull up. I think it's important for all of us to know. Um, all of us, I think, everyone that I've trained, one of their main goals is I wanna get a pull up, which I love, especially coming from, from women. Um, it's just a very badass thing to do. And so this is the best way to get there. Um, there's some isolation moves that we're gonna talk about. And if you don't have the equipment, um, you can get all of this equipment at a gym or we can try to figure out another alternative. Um, the one move that you have that I really like that you can do with dumbbells that you've already done a couple times is the bent over row. So that's a really good bicep and back um, workout move that gets those muscles. But here's a couple more for you to put in the log so that you guys can get your pull up. Um, so the first one is like, you know, I've actually made fun of this in previous videos, but good old bicep curls. So these are great for biceps. Um, you can do them supersetted with the machine behind me. So this is called a lat pull down machine. And you can do these two different ways. So what I would do is I would do um, 10 to 12 bicep curls and then lat pull downs. Start with wide grip. So you're outside of those ridges and you lean back, you wanna make sure that your shoulders are pulled down. And so if they're already tense here, then I'm gonna be using the wrong muscles. I wanna pull those elbows, or pull those shoulder blades back and down, and then I'm leaning back just a little bit, pulling right under my chin to my chest. So you can do this way for 10, and then you're gonna go back to bicep curls, do 12 bicep curls, and then back on this, you can do a different grip. So this is more of your like chin up, typical chin up. Same thing, you're leaning back, you pull down your shoulder blades, and then you pull that bar right under your chin. And this one tends to be, um, some of you guys know this, chin ups are a little bit easier than wide grip pull ups. And so you're able to change the weight a little bit heavier for the chin ups. And you wanna find something for a set of 10, you wanna find something that, you don't have your form go to shit, so you're not like, you know, breaking the machine. Um, but you also want to have it be around rep 8, 9, 10. You want to definitely feel it going slower. So it's like a struggle and a fight to keep that good form. And that's how you figure out what weight works for you. Um, and you can increase weight every time you come back and do it. So those are two moves that you can do. Those are my meathead isolation moves. And now we're going to move to more CrossFit style to the rig of how to get a pull up. So. Uh, the best, easiest one that works all the same muscles as pull-ups and is a great alternative is called a ring row. And so you have your rings or your TRX. Most gyms have TRXs, they might not have rings. And you just plant your feet and you lean back. And from here, I'm in a plank position, except I'm facing the opposite way. So my hips aren't sagging, my butt squeeze, my shoulders are back, and I'm pulling right to my chest. I'm keeping my head neutral so I'm not here. And just make sure you guys aren't using your hips. So it's not this big move here. And you can do a set of 10, three sets of 10 here is a really great way to work biceps and back. That's another accessory move for pull-up strength. And then you can get into how to actually get into a pull-up. So there's four different things, I believe, that I wanna touch on. So the first one, would it be easier if you stood on a box too? No, maybe not. Okay, let me know. Um, so the first one is you want to find any pull-up rig that you can jump up to and get your chin over and hold as long as you can. So this is a really good one that I have my clients do sometimes. So I like chin-ups for this the best. It keeps your shoulders in a good position. But you can jump into it as much as you want, and you're just going to hold. See how long you can hold this here, keeping your chin over. And then when you slowly come back down, Get your feet down, do it again. Hold as long as you can, slowly come back down. You would do that about five times. Shake it out. The second thing you can do, you can do jumping pull-ups. And so it's jump, down, jump, down. So this is perfect for those who don't quite have that strict pull-up, but wanna work all the same muscles. Another one is a negative pull-up. And so it's similar to holding, but you only hold for one second, and then you're coming back down as slow as you can. So it looks like this. Jump, jump. So it's that kind of, um, that really slow isolation hold, that concentric hold as you are coming down. Doing a set of five to 10 of those is perfect. Then you can get into, assisted pull-ups. And so when you kind of have, you've been doing some of this for a while, um, two times a week, maybe some bicep curls and lat pull-downs and a couple sets of those negative pull-ups, um, 
you want to think of pull-ups as a strength movement. So I have all my clients doing them in five sets of five. Just like you would your squats, just like you would your deadlifts, you wanna make sure that all five of them are really, really hard. And so the bands are really great for, th for this. There's assisted pull-up machines, which are also great. You wanna find something that makes it number four and five feel like you feel like you're not gonna make it. Um, and it sucks. You rest for a little bit and do it again. So it's five sets of five pull-ups to get into a band, if you guys don't know this, actually. Hey, MK, you wanna help? So can you pull that down? And then maybe move the box. Thanks, so you have someone help you pull that down. You wrap one foot over the other and then you pull. So notice I'm doing the wide grip. You can do five this way, or you can also do five this way, which will be a little bit easier. And then as you get better at that, <laughs> as you get better at that, uh, you will use less of a band. And so eventually, you'll be able to use no band. Um, how many pull-ups can you do, MK? Kipping? Not kipping. Not kipping. No, we want to do strict. Maybe 15. 15 strict? Maybe. Do it. Oh, Can we have a pull up off right now? <laughs> We're gonna have a pull up <laughs> off. We're gonna chuck up. You can do 15? That's crazy. Maybe. Let's find out. Put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> Which, where, what, what version are you gonna do? Wide grip? Okay, go ahead. You first. This is awesome. <laughs> Do you want to remove that? They don't. They don't. I'm like seriously nervous right now. You can do it. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> don't call her beefcake for nothing. <laughs> is this eleven? That's, oh, this is eleven. Come on. She's sweating. <laughs> Aren't you glad you came to visit me? Go MK! Is that 15? 16. Oh shit! <laughs> We're going again. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Do I have to do it now? I don't know if I have to do it. We might be editing this out. Now I have to try? How many did you get? Oh, God. I can't let her win. <laughs> oh no, I have so many more. <sighs> One more. Oh! Okay, no, 12. <laughs> Damn it. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that brief intermission. So I want you guys, <laughs> I want you guys to get a pull up because it's fun and you can show off and you can compete with your girlfriend. <laughs> uh, so those are the things that you can add into your gym routine. Bicep curls, pull downs, um, jumping, negative, assisted, and then eventually a pull up. Rawr. <laughs>